Brian Stelter was trending on Twitter again yesterday for the usual reason, everyone making fun of him, which is literally the only reason that he ever trends on Twitter at all, as you know, and that's not a joke. This time, after being completely humiliated by a college freshman at the University of Chicago during an event appropriately titled Disinformation and the Erosion of Democracy, of course, because that's the business that CNN is in. My name is Christopher Phillips. I'm a first year at the college. Uh, my question's for Mr. Stelter. Uh, You've all spoken extensively about Fox News being a purveyor of uh, disinformation, uh, but CNN is right up there with them. They pushed the Russian collusion hoax. They pushed the Jesse Smollett hoax. They smeared Justice Kavanaugh as a rapist, and they also smeared Nick Sandman as a white supremacist. And yes, they dismissed the Hunter Biden laptop affair as pure Russian disinformation. Uh, with mainstream corporate journalists becoming little more than uh, apologists and cheerleaders for the regime, is it time to finally declare that the, uh, the canon of journalistic ethics is dead or no longer operative? Uh, all the mistakes of the mainstream media and CNN pr in particular seem to magically all go in one direction. Are we expected to believe that this is all just some sort of random coincidence or is there something else behind it? It's too bad it's time for lunch. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, there, there's a clock that says 30 seconds, but I think my honest answer to you, and I'll come over and talk to you in more detail after this, is that I think you're describing a different channel than the one that I watch, uh, but I understand that that is a popular right-wing narrative about CNN. I think it's important when we talk about shared reality and democracy, all these networks, all these outlets have to defend democracy, and when they screw up, admit it. Uh, but when... Benjamin Hall, Fox News correspondent, was wounded in Ukraine. The news crews at CNN and the New York Times stopped what they were doing, and they tried to help. They tried to help him get out of the country. They tried to find the dead crew members. That's what news outlets do. That's how they actually do work together, to your question about sharing those kinds of connections and trust. We don't talk about it enough, though. We don't share that reality about how that happens. But I think your question, it speaks to the failure of journalism to show our work and to show the reality of how our profession operates. Actually, Brian, his question was the result of already seeing how CNN operates. He didn't even answer any of the guy's questions. He then just pivoted to Ukraine and said how when one of the reporters was injured, the other ones jumped in and helped. Well, don't they deserve a medal? As you know, mocking little Brian is one of the great joys of the internet, but unfortunately, rumors continue to swirl that once AT&T's merger or acquisition of CNN is complete, they may fire him. This guy, who used to be a managing editor at Mediaite, says he has a source who told him that at a recent informal discovery board meeting, that's one of the corporate entities that's part of this whole acquisition, the largest shareholder, John Malone, referred to CNN's Brian Stelter as a, quote, cancer <laughs> and a Zucker henchman and has a failing show. They might keep him, though, because he does CNN's dirty work, and who else is going to defend Disney after that leaked Zoom meeting revealing their child grooming agenda? And who else is going to be able to denounce Vladimir Putin with a straight face for censoring news in his country? Well, in the next segment, calling for news to be censored in ours. And if he is fired, I'm never going to forget that time that he started his show complaining about Donald Trump returning to doing his rallies once he was out of office. And an entire segment about how they weren't newsworthy at all. And only fringe networks like Newsmax were airing them. Some big news from our coverage of President Trump's rally last weekend. Uh, we have the ratings from Nielsen and others. Newsmax had over 5 million people tune in. And that was up 40% over his last rally last October in Iowa. Oh, by the way, CNN just launched their new streaming service, CNN Plus, since every other television network did that years ago, where you could pay $6 a month to watch your favorite CNN shows. Needless to say, the launch isn't going as well as they had planned because most people wouldn't watch CNN if you paid them. So they're offering new subscribers a 50% discount <laughs> if you sign up this month, not just for the next 90 days or six months, or even for the rest of the year, hey, you'll get 50% off for life. <laughs> Speaking of discounts, I'm running one of my own, but it's not for life, however. But you can get 20% off of any of my shirts from MarkDice.com this weekend by using the promo code TROLLING at the checkout. So go and order my new Operation Mockingbird shirt, an F. Joe Biden wanna buy a vowel shirt, the classic liberalism find a cure shirt, or any of my awesome designs, all available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to MarkDice.com or click the link in the description below. Enter the promo code TROLLING at the checkout to save 20% this weekend, and check them out!